What's up guys, it's Brian here and today I'm bringing you guys another Throwback Thursday review. This time we've got the 2014 Battle on Seleuca My Set. There is the box art in the form of the instruction manual. The set was number 75037, contained 183 pieces, and back in 2014, retailed for 15 US dollars. If this set came out today, my estimate is that it would be about 20, because it retails for the standard battle pack price nowadays. But this set was a really good army building set, especially for droids, and it did come with a brand new and exclusive Bark Trooper that we all in the community pretty much, he's Commander Neo to pretty much everybody, and a really amazing speeder. So this was a really good army building set back in 2014 to go along with those other Revenge of the Sith sets. So without further ado, let's jump into the in-depth look. So taking a close-up look at the set itself, the set could be divided into the Republic side and the Separatist side if you really want. This is supposed to be a Separatist bunker over here pretty much. But the first side, we have Commander Neo and his um, Bark Speeder. Even though this isn't really Commander Neo, they don't spe specify. It looks just like him. He could just be a random 91st Reconnaissance Trooper. Um, but the Bark Speeder is actually really nice. I love this uh, recoloring of it. This was the same Speeder that they released in the 2011 Battle Pack, but they released it in green. This time, they added some sticker detailing, like to the top, the side. They have a Battle Droid counter. That's kind of funny. A little control panel down there. And I love the red detailing on it. This had space for a spring loaded shooter that I didn't bother to dig out and find. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just your standard old bark speeder. It can be taken apart fairly easily. So like sometimes, I think in one of my mocks, I had like a speeder repair shop where I had like some pieces of it in certain places. But if you want to make old Commander Neo sit down in it, he can do that very easily. Even have his gun with him. It is hovering on, uh, I guess it's not really hovering on this plate, but there's a little hover plate up here, a little trans clear plate that he can uh, have his speeder on. And I do have two of these speeders, so that's very uh, <laughs> handy for me. And um, this little bunker, I actually like the, these detailings quite a bit. You guys know how much I like my, my Lego earth tones, so the uh, olive green pieces here are always welcome to my collection. So they have the leaf pieces and then the dark tan over here as well. This piece kind of folds down a little bit. This whole thing is on a couple hinges, and you can angle it any way you want. That's a sticker on the front, by the way. Very cool with the battle damage they did right there. And the reason that there are these little uh, tiles here is because they actually give you uh, little stands for the battle droids. So you can insert them into here and then easily remove them. Or, if you want to use the spring-loaded shooter, you can use the speeder to knock the figures down. So that's actually a really cool little play function that they included in the set. I'm glad they gave you these little stands too because these figures are impossible to stand up on their own. And then the last little bit is the stap with the battle droid that has uh, two arms that are straight arms like that or the regular old battle droid arms. Little sticker detailing on the front there. Same stand down here with a little clear bit here. I like the blue coloring for this stap. It's very nice. And I like how they give you a little stand for it as well. So that's pretty much it for the build. Let's take a look at these minifigures. And the first figures up we have are the battle droid that does give you two regular battle droids and two super battle droids. So again, very good army building set for droids. They only give you one blaster for the droids though, so the other battle droid has to use his stap. But these are completely standard, nothing new, nothing special about them. But the fact is that you do get two super battle droids and two regular battle droids in this set. Making this a very good army building set for droids for back in the day. However, definitely the coolest figure in this battle pack is the single clone trooper that they give you. They label him as a Bark Trooper, technically part of the 91st Reconnaissance Division, but you can just call this guy Commander Neo because he looks exactly like Commander Neo looks like. They printed the helmet to be just like him, like that. And this is kind of a remake of the first one that they did an old version of the Phase 2 one. Uh, so you can call him a, a remake of that figure if you want. But the detailing on him is phenomenal. I was very happy when they announced that this figure was going to be coming out and when the pictures came out for him originally. He's even got some cool printing on his back with the strap that goes down and across. Love the red details of the 91st. And his helmet is very well done. I'm trying to get a decent angle of that for you guys. He's got angry clone face underneath. Perfectly utilized. I have no issues with that. And he does come with a regular blaster instead of a stud shooter. So... This was the first year they introduced the stud shooters, but I'm very glad that they stuck with the blasters for this set. So very, very happy with this figure in the set. I'm glad I, had, I got two of these sets, so I actually have two of these figures. 
So that's going to just about do it for the in-depth look. Let's go back to the other angle and I'll end out the video. Alright guys, so that's going to just about do it for this throwback review. Um, as far as getting this set nowadays, According to Brickset.com, you can get this thing used, I don't know if that includes minifigures, for around $20. That would probably just include like the droids and the little, uh, the little, uh, what do you call it, shelter build over here, the little stand. And, uh, but if you want it new, it does go for around $36, which isn't too terrible for a set that's six years old and had an exclusive clone trooper in it. If you want the Commander Neo figure by himself, though, and if you live in the USA on Brickley, he goes for an average of between between $10 and $13, so it is an expensive figure to get nowadays, but however, since he is, like, you can really only get away with getting one of him, they did make the set so you can get multiples of him, but if you really only want the one, and you're looking for a good Commander Neo on Bricklink, he's $13, so might not be a bad investment to add to your clone army. But this was a really good set back in the day. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. I actually have two of this one. I did end up getting a, a second one at one point because the droids were so good. And I love this little bunker. Having two of these speeders is really good for Mox. So let me know in the comments. Do you have the set? What do you think of it? What other throwback reviews should I do? Leave me all your thoughts in the comment section below. That's going to just about do it. Again, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys know the drill by this point. If you're watching this when it's uploaded, the next video is going to be the Kenobi animation. So that's going to come out at some point this weekend. I've probably announced it already, but get, hy get, get hyped for that, guys, because I'm really excited for it. This has been Brian from Watermelon Studios. Peace out, guys.